All right, this is the video that everyone has been waiting for. The crochet mug cozy with the bottle. Yeah, so yeah, I'm still um, working on adding some crochet pattern to the channel before the end of the year. So that's what we're working on today. This is very simple. It's a crochet mug cozy with the bottle. And I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm going to go ahead and jump into the pattern. Um, I'm using a 3.75 crochet hook or I have no problem switching to the 425. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and jump into the 425. And the yarn I'm using, Crafter Secret from Hobby Lobby. There used to be $2.99. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think this is Hobby Lobby. I think this is Joanne Fabric. My gosh. How can I get them two mixed up? Okay. I like this yarn, though. I make lots of things with this yarn. Of course, as in many patterns, we begin with a slip knot. That's how I make my slip knot. We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Connect both ends to form a crochet silk rule. There you go. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. Fifteen double crochet inside the donut hole one double crochet two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. As you can see, I'm push, pulling or pushing it back. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I'm going to try to squeeze one last one. 15. And now to end this round, I'm going to slip stitch in on the third chain from the beginning and pull all the way. And I'm just going to pull the tail. There you go. Next, we're going to double crochet in each stitch, but first we must chain two. Then double crochet, two double crochet on the next stitch. Another one. And another two double crochet on the next stitch. Two double crochet. Two double crochet on the next stitch. And that's what we're going to do in this row.
um, my cozy is forming. I'm on my last double crochet. There you go. So now to complete this row, I'm going to slip stitch on this um, chain two on top. And there you go. And that's your round stitch. And that should fit perfectly like that. See? Okay. Next step. Chain two. We're going to double crochet all the way. One double crochet on each stitch all the way. Let's see. One. Another double crochet. So I'm just inserting a double crochet in each stitch. Okay. Now what I've done in the past is insert my hook on the um, on the back loop only. But to make this um, pattern simple, we're gonna double crochet. And the regular stitch. This is a very simple, simple, easy, easy, perfect for beginners pattern. Because we're really just using double crochet for this pattern go now that's the end of the row but that's literally what we're gonna do for this row we're not gonna close that so the next one chain two turn your work around and double crochet in each double crochet Oops. so we're just gonna do double crochet double crochet in each stitch till we get to the other side I have two more to do. This is the last double crochet and this is that chain two in the beginning. So we're gonna insert our hook on that top of the chain and there you go. So we have two um, rows of the double crochet. Right? So again you're just going to chain two, turn your work around and another row of double crochet. So you should have let me see. You should have. You're going to repeat that pattern until you have one, two, three, four, five rows 
of um, double crochet, okay? So once you have five rows of double crochet, is a row of single crochet. So chain one, turn your work around, and single crochet in each stitch. And what this does, it, it really gives you a nice finished look. It gives you more of a complete look. Okay, so that's my dog snoring in the background, if you can hear him. <laughs> okay, there you go. So we are at the end of the row, now we work on the loop. So we're going to chain 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9, 10. and now um, we're going to um, slip stitch on the one, two, three, four, the fourth, fourth stitch, and another slip stitch, and another one, and another one, and on this um, single crochet, we're going to do another slip stitch, and to secure it further, another slip stitch. I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm going to pull my loop all the way through and there you go so this is where your loop and then you add your button here okay. well, I, this might be a little too big for yeah it is so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this needle to weave in my um, my yarn here okay one last one so I'm gonna skip this and insert my needle on that there you go Pull it gently and trim the rest. And on this one, as you can see, I've already weaved in this tail, so I'm just gonna clip that. So the only thing I have to do is um, complete it by adding the button, which I don't know where's my other needle is but I've shown plenty of times on how to add the button to your Makosi and if you need help with that I uh, will give you the link on on how to do on how I do mine so here you go so and that's how you make a Makosi with the bottom now thank you for watching the uh, this video and please remember to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button thank you